All right, Nissan Armada external transmission cooler part two. What I did was I pulled out all the factory lines, the hard lines, even the one that I tried to bend and reuse. I, I just didn't like it. Plus the spring clamps were starting to uh, to weep, pull all that crap out. Plus they were getting old and hard. So uh, the only thing regarding the transmission fluid that is still factory are the two hard lines on the side of the transmission that run up onto the engine. From there, the rubber line that goes to the e external aftermarket cooler is brand new. It goes to the external aftermarket cooler from the external aftermarket cooler to the factory external cooler. And from the factory cooler, it goes back uh, to the transmission via brand new hoses to the factory hardline. I think that's a much, much cleaner setup. No, uh, it's all brand new clamps on there. Those are uh, fuel injection line clamps. Let's go on to the truck. As you can see. Let's see, this one it where is where it comes from the transmission, and this one is where is where it goes back into the transmission. So everything is aftermarket. As far as those uh, rubber lines. And again, the reason I did it, I think that's much, much cleaner. And uh, I think it looks better. I think it's cleaner. And in my opinion, in the long run, it will be more reliable. All right. So, again, good luck with your install. And I, I just like that, having the cooler right up front. Didn't have to drill any holes or anything. It just hung right there. So far, it's working great. I took a trip to um, Pennsylvania, up into the mountains to uh, pick up a trailer for someone and brought the trailer back. And the trailer was fully loaded with a big old motorcycle, a tool chest, air compressor, and a gasoline snowblower. And the uh, modder with this cooler hand looked flawlessly. All right, good luck.